Hello everyone, it's Simon here with a review of Masira. Masira is a single player puzzle platform narrative experience available on PlayStation 4. Uh, it sits somewhere between a walking simulator and a puzzle platformer game because you go from narrative beat to narrative beat via a quite small rudimentary and compact puzzle or platforming experience. It's not going to like explode your brain out with everything that it wants to do, but it does have unique gameplay elements constantly throughout the game to keep you amused as you go from beat to beat. You play though as primarily as a young girl who has been made a refugee from her home country and is travelling from East Europe to Western Europe to find salvation, rebuild her life as a refugee. And she's bringing along her trusty grandmother um, as they're the only two that survived the initial bombing that happens. Um, as they go through situation to situation, you'll have different gameplay mechanics that will appear in each level. And each level is basically a new country that they've arrived into across their journey. It's primarily an emotional story because it's tugging at your heartstrings to try and like keep them together, reunite it in each level and kind of battle on and soldier on. And depending on your choices, you'll have two very different paths early on in the game before they all kind of reconvene later and go towards like an end narrative. I really appreciate the fact that a shoestring developer has basically added in levels that you may not see if you only play through this game once. So I do recommend playing it through at least the, the first half of the game twice because you'll get very different levels if you make different choices uh, and they're the moral choices that you get to make. Um, on the control side of stuff, Mesira is a real mixed bag. There's some puzzle platforming sections that work really, really well, and it's primarily when you're controlling the young girl and then ordering the grandmother around. Um, you do this by pressing and holding L1, I think it is, um, and then it brings up like the sim PlayStation symbol buttons of where you want her to go. And normally it will be like to press a lever, to raise something, to lower something, uh, let in water, let out water, that kind of stuff, or to stand guard of somewhere so that um, like a dog or something can't run past in the dog catching section. Um, and those bits work really well because um, she does what she you tell her to do and she's quite quick about it. Where it falls down flat uh, in Masira is in some of the stealth sections where you're trying to escape a prison because the kind of uh, cone of view of the prisons or, or, or the prison um, officers. It seems to be really kind of hit and miss and it doesn't really tell you what you're doing when you approach a new situation until you're in it and you've already been captured quite often. So I was a bit like, mm. girl, give me some instructions, please. So yeah, um, it could have done with some uh, polishing around that. There was one specific section that really frustrated me though and this was like an endless runner section where you're stuck in a cave and it's collapsing and you've got to run forward and control both characters at the same time. For whatever reason, the implementation of that specific level is atrocious and it took me ages to get through what is essentially a 30 second level. Um, it took me good over 20 minutes um, and just constant trying and reboot and reboot and I was just like, for goodness sake. So yeah, just be aware that some of the control sections, because it's doing different gameplay mechanics constantly throughout, some of them are much better implemented than others. That does kind of detract from some of the overall emotional message, but when you've got the low poly aesthetic matched with an absolutely gorgeous musical score, and in particular I'm thinking of a piece where you're in Turkey in the uh, market and you're doing jobs for some of the market stalls, um, ah yeah, fantastic. I know the soundtrack is available separately and I will probably purchase that elsewhere. Um, yeah. The music score plus the graphics work really well. The narrative experience is quite good. I wish there was more of the narrative experience though. It's not light and fluffy because it does dive into some really meaty topics, but it's one of those ones where you kind of like, once it's done, you need to kind of chew it over and go, right, well, how did I feel about that? Do I feel anything about that? Am I more sympathetic to their plight? Is there stuff that we could be doing? That kind of thing. Masira definitely has a message that it wants to give. I think sometimes it's let down in some of its implementation because you're busy wrestling with some wonky controls at times. Um, and some of the rudimentary platforming could have been less arduous if the controls had been a bit more tightly executed. 
However, this game was made on a shoestring budget by a very small team, so I will cut them some slack for it because this is a real budget learning experience. But um, yeah, there's a good message in here. It's an important game in terms of trying out a new way of, or a, a new type of story to tell and being a bit more political. Um, yeah, it won't be for everyone, but if this picks your fancy, it's a very quick game to get through, about two hours tops. Um, if you're looking for a relatively easy platinum, um, it's all collectible based pretty much, so you, you can get that done in about two and a half to three hours. Um, yeah, I think it's um, a niche little find here that will appeal to some. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them below. And thank you so much for watching. Doodle pip. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.